Get a tragic here, and we're gonna play another Lord of the Rings. This time, it's Journey to Raskabel. Now, I know that I basically said I was gonna have a break from doing these for a while, but eh, I'm enjoying the game so much I can't stop playing. So, we're gonna have another one. Now, this quest gets a lot of hate, but I actually really like this quest. This is one of my favorites from the Mirkwood cycle, actually. Let's have a quick look at what we got here. Now I've been told I don't zoom in enough into the cards and sometimes I go too quickly like that. So I've got to be very, I'm going to try and be very careful. It's going to take a few videos to get into the swing of it. What have we got here? We have our most important card, which is healing, which is very cool. We've got some card draw. We've got some protection. We've got a dead card because it's expensive. And we've got um, meh, card draw. Let's call that card draw. This is an all right hand. It's particularly good because you've got the healing. But I think the rest of it's actually pretty weak. Pretty much all those other cards are pretty weak. So I'm going to mulligan this. And hopefully we're going to get a test of will. Bam! We get a test of will. And we get a hasty stroke. And we get a fetch. This is a very good hand. And even better, we have a tutor. Freaking awesome. Well, I'm glad I did that. Okay, over here, what have you got? Okay. This is actually a pretty good hand, but since we've actually got the tutor in our opening hand, let's see if we can mulligan for the steward of Gondor. You blam! We don't get it. But we do get a fetch. We've got a play from discard pile. We've got two of them. And we've even got a faint. So this is actually a pretty decent hand as well. Okay, let's get into this. The Wounded Eagle, a journey to Raskabel. After a fierce conflict with a group of trolls. Oh man, we slaughtered those trolls. <laughs> you come across a fallen eagle, grievously wounded and on the verge of death. So it's encountered black, blah, 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 blah. What that just says is that we place these two objects into the staging area. Now, the first one is Roscobel, and it says X is the number of players in the game. So we just click that twice, and that sticks on the two threat. Now, while it's in the staging area, Willador cannot be healed. This is Willador over here. He has 20 health but he can't be healed while he's in the staging area. Now, you can only travel there once we complete 1A, well, 1B, I should say, technically. So 1B, once we complete 1B is when we can travel to Roscobel, not before. Now, there are a number of effects in this game like Northern Tracker or Westworld Traveler or whatever that can actually make you explore Roscobel early. Westworld Traveler will allow you to move it down into here where you can put tokens on it. Uh, you know, various effects will put tokens on top of it, like the Northern Track or whatever. But I think it really breaks the theme of this quest. I don't like it at all. So I actually house rule that this card says immune to player card effects while in staging area. So while Ruskabel is in the staging area, it is immune to card effects. So... The idea is that there's no way to complete Roscobel until you physically travel to Roscobel at the end of the first quest phase. So just pretend that has that written on it. And this is Willador. This is the eagle that we're trying to save the life of. He's a 11120. And he can have no attachments. And the first player always gains control of him as an ally. So that just basically means that as the game progresses, he just swaps sides each time. It also says at the end of every round, he suffers two damage. Now he's already got two, so by round four, he'll have ten damage, for example. And he cannot be healed more than five wounds in a single effect. So even though like that uh, heal card that we looked at the beginning of the game, that can heal all wounds on a character, but actually, in this case, it'll only ever heal five. And remember, while this is in the staging area, we can't heal him at all. And that's pretty much the setup. That's all it says. 
The eagle's wounds cannot be tended in the wilderness, so you attempt to bring the creature to Roscobel, where the wisdom of Radagast the Brown may be its only hope. So, yeah, that's the plan. Let's get to Roscobel as quickly as possible. Okay, let's draw up cards. And we are using Bilbo, who is one of my favorite heroes, to draw another card. The card draw in Lord of the Rings is pretty crazy. So I'm gonna remember I'm gonna try to be close to the, the mat so it's easy to see. Okay, so we're gonna play Glowwine. He allows us to draw even more. So let's go one, two, we'll put out Glowline. And we're not gonna quest with any of these people at all. Well, we do have a shadow card. Maybe I'll quest with, no, I'm not gonna quest with any of these people. Over here, we have a pretty bad hand, a pretty, like nothing to play. It's actually a good hand, but I'm gonna cast out this one first. This says, search the top five cards of your deck for any eagle cards and add them to your hand. So one, two, three, four, five, your blamo. And we get one eagle in all that. That's a bit disappointing. And now what? Let's play one and place out this eagle. And we're pretty much done. Okay, and we're going to quest with him, and that will give us a total quest power of four, which is just plus two, and I think that's going to do us. So let's go one, two. Okay, so we have uh, swarming insects. Now, every time a treachery comes out, I'm going to draw again, because I just tap Eleanor to cancel it and draw again. So... We're going to draw another one to replace that. Oh, it is a caught in the web. Now, we do not have our iron miner here. I'm going to place caught in the web first. It's got to go on whoever's got the highest threat. So let's put caught in the web on to this guy. Actually, I'm going to cancel this one. So I'm going to spend my one resource and do test of will and just cancel that. And now we're drawing the last card of the turn and we're negative one. Using Eowyn's ability, we're going to discard cards now to give up bonuses. So let's discard one of these guys. And I think I'll also not discard any of them. That'll give us one extra will. And now we're plus one. Uh, actually, this is, that's upside down. Now we're at zero. So no threat, gain, or loss. This thing comes down here. And then this one is going to attack on this side. Now this thing says, only eagle characters or characters with range can attack or defend. So let's tap you to defend. Flip this over. It's not undefended, so nothing happens with that shadow card. And it's attacking for one. He's defending at one, no damage. I'm then going to attack with you and you. That kills him. And I put two, uh, you know, progress tokens on the forest gate. Then I'm going to go one, two, and draw one, two, three cards. Blammo, Blammo, draw an extra card for Bilbo. Now we can draw all those cards because this guy allows us to draw a card. This guy allows us to draw two cards once per round. So there's a bit of a rata there. And this guy allows the first player to always draw a card. So if we play our cards right, we should draw, we can draw basically five cards a turn for various people. So I'm going to move this over here. Let's go, you blam, you blam. Give him some more wounds. Okay, we've got another one of these eagle cards. So let's quickly do that first. And we don't get any eagles. That's a very good... That was actually a very good fetch because the top five, the next five turns wouldn't get us the Steward of Gondor. So being able to shuffle the deck is really handy. 
Okay, I'm going to go one, two, and place out a blocker. I'm going to go one, two, and place out unexpected courage. And then I'm going to go, eh, you know what I might do? I might just put it on her. I'm going to put it on him. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. Oh, where's my... Both of these spots are really good. See, if I put it here, I'll be able to quest for two every turn, but still be able to then tap for, you know, blocking or card draw. If I put it here, you'll be able to tap for two and then untap to attack. So we don't, So and then he can also attack into this side and untap her. So basically, if I put it here, and there's nothing to fight on this side, she won't be able to untap. So I think I will actually place it over on Berivore. I usually actually place it on him. I'm going to try something a bit different this time. Okay, that's the end of his turn. Now what's happening over this side of the world. Okay. We are kind of in trouble here. Nothing we can do, so I'm just going to tap for questing. And quest with that person, and let's quest with you as well. Let's draw. Blammo, ugh, and blammo. But plus two, so that's one, two. This thing gets completed. Now, this is an interesting thing. This says, after the player explores the forest grove, search the encounter deck and discard pile for one Atlas objective and add it to the staging area, then shuffle the encounter deck. So let's grab it out of here. Okay. Now, this thing here, right, has the guarded keyword, and they recently errated, well, not recently, but they errated the way guarded works. Guarded used to mean as soon as it entered the staging area, it got a card to guard. But they've changed it that it has to be physically revealed to the staging area. And it's actually written in the FAQ somewhere. I'm not quite sure exactly where. You know, I actually forgot that I'm using a, oops, I'm using a different recording application here. So I can actually record my screen. Basically, I used to use DX Troy, but it's not stopped working for some reason. Page 17, here we are. In order for the guarded keyword to trigger, the encounter card it appears on must be revealed from the encounter deck. That means if the card says it's added to the staging area, it's not revealed. So what this means is that this card says add, not revealed. So it's automatically revealed into the staging area without any cards on it. Which means I can just tap Bilbo and nab that card straight away and just stick it on him. Because this card says, exhaust a hero to claim this objective at action speed. So boom, we've already got one Atlas, that was very nice. This one here, players cannot draw cards, so we're not going to travel to there. Okay, so I'm then going to tap you, untap him, then I'm going to go tappity tappity, and I'm going to draw one, two, three on this side. Damn it, still don't get the card I'm looking for. Draw another card for Bilbo. And also, of course, my eagle gets extra wounds. Point of this one is not to panic. The timer of the wounds can feel oppressive, but it's not really as bad as you might think. Okay, we're going to go one, two and place out the brand. And 
I'm going to go one and use tome to pull my test of will back into my hand. And then I'm going to go quest, quest, get quest, quest, and over this side of the world, got a lot of dead cards. Okay, bam. So we're only plus two at the moment. That's not very good. I'm going to have to quest with you as well. That gives us plus four. Bam. Oh, give me a break, son. This guy attacks at 32, but what's more important is we get a negative, negative, and a negative quest point. So we're now negative two. That's all right. We're going to discard one of these. And over here, we'll discard one of the glow wines. That gives us positive two, because we've discarded two cards for Eowyn's ability. And now we're threading at zero, so no gain or loss. Okay, so that is bad. So... We do have stand and fight, which is good. We should be able to do this. So we can place three, six. So we can place four wounds on him. And then next time we have to place another five. Three, six, nine. Okay. I'm going to have this guy attack. Down here. I am then going to get a card. I'm going to cast this and do a feint to stop him attacking. And then I'm going to go three and three for attacking for six. He's got two wounds. That's one, two, three, four wounds. <coughs> this guy gets, beg your pardon, this guy, <coughs> this guy gets discarded because every time he attacks, he gets discarded. And we're good to go. Meanwhile, over here, let's tap you and you. And I'm going to go one, two, three. Wow, this is terrible. Bam. You blam. And he gets another card. Bam. Okay, we have all these dead cards because we still haven't been able to get any of our good stuff. Uh, I am going to go one, two, three. I am going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, I can't do that because this guy doesn't have any. <laughs> this guy doesn't have tactics resources. All right, so one, two. Oh no, yeah, that's what I was, this is what I was trying to do. So these guys, yeah. So it's one. Two, three, four, five, and I'm placing out Radagast. Let's give him a resource. Radagast uh, can be used to cast our eagles, which is good. And we need to do, he's got four wounds, so three, six, seven. We'll put five wounds on him, which will kill him. So quest. Meanwhile, on this side of the world, we're going very slowly because I'm trying to dig out the wrong card. I'm trying to dig out the Steward of Gondor from here instead of digging out the heal cards. I've only got one so far. Still, let's go one, two, three, and place out this sucker. That'll allow us to search in here, and we'll grab the Spirit Song. Oh. Am I doing the song? Ah, uh, no, the Song of Kings. That's the one we need first. And I'm going to spend one off here. Actually, I'm going to leave that one there. I'm going to spend one off here and place this out. Actually, I don't even need to do that. 
Now, the reason I don't need to cast this now is because this person's going to be first player next turn, so he can cast that over here first turn next turn, and then when it's this guy's turn, he'll be able to use it. And that'll leave us two resources here if we need. So let's go quest and quest. And I'm going to go quest. That's not going to give us a lot of leeway. Your blammo and your blammo. Beautiful. So that's plus one. What the hell happened then? Hmm, something's going on with that mod. I'll have to fix that. There we go. <laughs> right. Let's have this guy attack over this side. And I'm not going to actually travel here for the moment because I don't want to risk having another dangerous thing go into the staging area at this time. Oh, maybe I do. Yeah, I like going for risks. Yabamo, Yabamo! Oh, look at that. When revealed. So let's uh, tap you. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one and cancel that. And that way we don't have anything into the staging area. Okay, this guy's going to come over here. So this guy gets a card. Yoink. And nothing happens. We're defending with this guy, by the way, obviously. So he's attacking for five. He's defending at four plus one. So that's five. He's dead. And then we go three, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five wounds. That's nine wounds, so he's also dead. Now, on this side of the world, we're going to leave this undefended, and hopefully we're not going to die. Defending player must choose and exhaust one character who controls two characters if this attack is undefended. Well, that's fine. You blam, you blam. And we're going to put two wounds on Eleanor. Okay. Boom. And boom. What did I do? I I did something wrong here. Oh yeah, I didn't. I went to. I got to tap him and tap him, of course, to draw three cards. One, two, three. Plus, we get to draw one because of Bilbo. Okay, so we've got another one of our protection cards. What's going on over here? Do we nothing of interest? Okay, so let's go one, two, three. And we're going to play Song of Kings. I'm going to stick it out here. And then I'm going to go one and do another tome and bring back my Test of Will. Okay, so that's Quest. Meanwhile, on this side of the world, we're going to go one, two, place out another eagle. This guy does get two wounds, by the way. We've got to start speeding up. We don't get our heals. Uh, what else have we got? I'm going to go one, play this out. Everyone draws a card. One, draw a card. Uh, may as well do it next turn. Okay. So that's quest and quest. So by not playing this card now, I'll save this resource here in case I need it next turn. And that's going to give us a lowly plus three. It's not particularly good. I'll quest with you as well. Ah, oh, we did kill uh, with Legolas. So that would be two progress tokens. Anyway, let's draw one and two. Okay, plus one. So that is one more progress token here. And these guys are destroyed and destroyed. And we're going to travel. Oh, actually. 
cannot draw a card, so we're going to travel to that one. Okay, so this guy is going to block this bloke here because only eagles can block him, and this guy has sentinel, and we're going to pay one resource to keep him around. Nothing happens. And then I'm going to go three, and we attack with Wellador for one. That's a total of four attack, which is enough to kill this bird, and only eagles and range characters can kill him. So he's gone, and we get two progress tokens on the forest, which clears it. And we can still draw. Then I'm going to go tap, tap, and I'm going to go one, two, three. Okay, beautiful. Blam and blam. Draw another card. Okay, now we've got way too many leadership cards. Okay, so let's go one and play out another eagle. Bring this guy over and give him his two wounds. And quest, quest. Then over here, I'm just going to go quest. We're only plus one, that is so terrible. Let's quest with you as well. And quest with you. I keep forgetting to quest with her because I usually put it on the other character. Okay, an Athlas comes out. And this guy puts two wounds on a questing character. Let's put two wounds on you. We're zero, so nothing happens. I'm actually going to discard some cards because we've got so many dead cards. Let's get rid of this. That's one. And let's get rid of this. That's two. Uh, let's get rid of this one. That's two. That's another two questing. So we're actually plus two. Then we're going to travel to this guy, Oop. to this one here, which means we have to reveal. Damn. And this guy will attack down here. Okay, beautiful. So we're going to tap you and untap you. This guy gets a card which is automatically discarded because of the burning brand. Then we're attacking for three, six, which kills this guy and also places two progress tokens on this thing. Then I'm going to go blam, blam, one, two, three. Boom. Draw more cards and draw cards with Bilbo. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, three, place out a healer. I'm also finally got enough resources in spirit to place out some spirit cards because we always need to keep resources so we're active to cast test and hasty stroke. So let's go one, two, place out one of our other questers. We're going to start questing pretty heavily soon. And quest with you and you, obviously. Okay, let's go... Two more wounds on our eagle. He's getting up there, 14. It's not good. Let's go one, two, and place out our steward. And one, and place out a blade of Gondolin. So he's now placing three tokens. 
And that's pretty much all we want to do here. Boom. We're questing for plus three, which still isn't a lot. We have to deal with this thing pretty soon because he's going to kill one of our heroes. Man. So we're actually questing for five. Let's quest with him. Oh, let's quest with him. Okay. Bam. And bam. Negative one. Again, we're going to do discards. We'll get rid of the brand. And we'll get rid of another one of these things. That gives us another plus two. So we're now at positive one. Bonk. Okay, so there's three progress tokens. It's three to clear this, so that's discarded. This thing is added to the staging area. As cleared, of course, it's now not guarded by anything. So let's tap you and grab it. We now have two atlases. And then we need to travel somewhere. Man, these locations are really causing us pain. This one requires two cards. There's nothing for us to kill though, is there? Nope. So let's travel to this one. Bam. Okay. So let's tap and tap and draw one, two, three. New turn. And he draws another card because of Bilbo. Beautiful. Finally came out. So it's one, two, three, four. We place out Descendant. That puts two wounds onto the Hummingbird. I'm gonna go one, one, two, three, four using Stand and Fight. Bam. And I'm gonna look into here and grab this bloke out. So Stand and Fight allows you to spend X to play them from your discard pile, or any player's discard pile, which is quite important. This guy costs four, so we spent four and put out another eagle. Let's go quest, quest, quest. This guy gets another two wounds. Okay, we are really running out of time now. 16. We've got two turns to beat this. We've got all three of our healing cards though, so we're set to win. All we need to do is do a mass quest now. So let's tap you, get two more resources, and see how much we can spend. Let's go. First, we'll go one resource and place a spirit song onto Berevor. So Berevor can now cast spirit resources. So let's go one, two... Out goes you. Let's go one, two, three. Out goes you. Search for another song. Doesn't matter which one we get at this stage, they're all dead. And we still haven't got any other decent. Uh, All these dead cards. I put all the dead cards down the end. That's pretty much it for casting. I guess I could put this guy out. I'm not going to though. So that is quest, 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 quest. I've got quite a bit of questing power now. Oh, and I forgot to do a heal last turn. I would have healed uh, Eleanor. And over this side, we've already done this guy's turn. And that gives us a total of plus four. We're only plus four with all that questing. That's crazy. One. Okay, we tap Eleanor to draw again. When revealed, discard all event cards in hand. So let's uh, spend one and cancel that. And draw again. 
deal one damage to each character without attachment. So we're going to spend another one and cancel it again. Wow, three treacheries in a row. And that's why this quest can be very frustrating for people and why you need to have the super card draw going on. So that is one, two, three, four. This gets discarded, but allows us to get yet another Atlas into hand. There's nothing saying that these are limited to one per character. So there are no monsters though. So let's, uh, I'm going to tap you and draw this. I forgot to quest with her, and I also forgot to discard for two extra progress. So if I quested with her and discarded for two extra progress, we'd be passed by now. That's just so terrible. So I'll also let's go to here. Bam. Okay, so I'm playing pretty shoddy. Tap and heal these guys. Okay, we have to pass this turn or we're going to be in trouble. Oh, and I forgot to go tap and tap to go one, two, three. Okay. Tap, one, two. Finally, we've got another, another one of our protections. So this time we're going to go one, two, three, four, and place out these two guys. And then we're going to go quest, 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 uh, not quest with that, quest with my healer and quest with Baravor. And over here, we're going to go, oh, damn, we can't cast this guy because we spent all our resources last turn. But I will go one, two, three, four, put out another quester here. So quest, 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 two wounds. Oh, this guy's 18 wounds. So what we need to do is actually go one, two, and bring this guy back into our hand. We need, so then we'll go one, two. Just hope we don't get any, oh, this is not good. Okay, we're in a lot of trouble. So let's draw blammo and blammo, beautiful. Right, so that gives us plus eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at 10 progress. This gets discarded. It allows us to put another Atlas into play. I think that's actually the last Atlas too. This is cleared. The eagle's health has grown worse, but you have at last arrived at Raskabel, where Radagas examines the bird. He then asks you to head out into the wilderness to find the healing plant, Atlas. Meantime, any healing lore or supplies your party has at its disposal could be used to assist in comforting the eagle until you return. Well, we've got tons of those things already, so not a problem. Okay, so Radagast is there, and now that we've traveled, we can actually go here, so boom. Okay. We're going to have this guy attack down here. And I'm going to have this dude tap to get this other Atlas. We've got four Atlas. <laughs> That's crazy. That's very rare, but whatever. Oh, you know what else I could do? Oh, I'll do it later. For fun. For fun, man. Okay, so this guy is going to attack. Bam. We're going to defend with this bloke here. Blip. 
It's not undefended, so that gets discarded. This guy attacks for three. This guy defends with three and is killed. But when he leaves play, two damage into the staging area. So he's dead. And we put two more damage on this guy. Which, of course, kills him because he's now got four wounds. So he is also dead. And now that we've actually traveled here and everything, in the action phase, we can now heal. So I'm gonna go one, two, and cast one of my laws of whatever it's called, bonk, and heal five wounds. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Because you can only heal five at a time, it says. So we're down to 13 wounds now. Then we're going to go three, six, nine. And that is enough to kill him. So let's stick him in the victory point display. This guy is destroyed. I'll just stick him over here. We don't really need this guy's power up ability. So I'm just going to not bother pulling out the tokens for it. If I ever need, oh, well, let's do it. Come on. One, two, three, one, two, three. So every time an eagle dies, you can attach it to the Misty Mountains guy and just buff him up. For each attachment like that, you get plus one attack, plus one defense. Right. So then I'm going to tap you and tap you and go, well, there's nothing I really need. I guess I'll go one, two, three. Okay. So that is... New turn, new turn, gets another card for whatever it's called. Oh, and we killed someone too, didn't we? So we get one, two, three. So we killed this uh, orc, right? Which means two from that, one from there. That's three more progress tokens. So let's put another one out. That'll cost him one. And let's go one, two, and place out an escort, which gets plus two when he taps to quest. So quick, yeah, blam, you blam, quick, quick, quick. Then over this side of the world, tap one, two. Let's go one, two, three, four. Not that we need to do this, but I'm just going to do it anyway for fun and heal 10 wounds. One, two, three. So 10 wounds, Yuck. He gets another two wounds, of course, for, you know, it's the new turn. Uh, I said something terribly wrong there because we should be always even, doesn't matter. Okay, so we're gonna go quest. Quest, 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 quest. I'm going to quest with both the healer and... Actually, I'm not going to... Yeah, both the healer and with the, the card draw guy. Then over here, we've already done that. We're plus 13. Blammo. Blammo. I'm going to tap you... Blammo, we're plus nine, so let's discard one, and we'll discard two, gives us another two quest. We're at plus 12, and this guy, you tap him and discard to add two progress tokens, and we've got two of them, so blam. This has two progress tokens. This needs two progress tokens, so we can get rid of that. And we can get rid of that. That gives us plus 17. So there's one to do this one. So that's 16 left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. You blam, 16 progress tokens. We only need 12 to complete. So that is gone as well. Feeling that time is running out on Wellador's life, you gather the Atlas you have found and head back to Roscobel. You arrive at night, wondering if you have found enough of the herb. 
Yunk. Let's put this over. When revealed, heal five wounds on Willador for each Atlas objective card the player controls. And we have actually got 5, 10, 15, 20 heal. So we heal him completely. If Willador is completely healed when this effect resolves, he survives and we've won the game. So that was a very unusual game because we got so many Athlases. Usually you get two, sometimes only one. But as you saw, by the time you, you basically do quest two in one go, you quest through the second phase in one go, like I did. And usually you have enough of these heal cards. These heal cards would actually be discarded from the game, by the way, not that it came up. But you uh, can cast these heal cards enough to get them underneath, like. 10. So if you've got one, he, he can only have five wounds on him. So I had I had 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 healing out, ready to heal. So again, this is one of those quests that's a lot easier than people think it is, if you know what I mean. Like uh, everyone gives it a lot of flack for being super hard, but it's just not super hard at all. And bam. There you go. That is the end of that quest. So once again, as always, we have the, uh, the decks up here. If you can think of cool names for them, let me know. I've also started to add sort of global decks as well. So that's the deck and these are the two decks. If you can think of cool names for them, I will uh, name them. So just write that into the comments. So yeah, this is a Hoover deck, it just sucks everything up. Like all the cards, five card draw a turn, bonkers, ridiculous. And this one here is mainly just to do untappings to fuel the engine. Uh, usually I cast Unexpected Courage on this side of the table. That allows you to quest with this guy for two, but then also attack with two. Every, uh, every time you block with her, you can then attack over here. We didn't get a lot of monsters. Where were all the monsters? Like... There's one, there's one. So, except for Shelob, there's one of the spiders. We didn't get many of them. But what I sometimes do with this deck is I get one of these guys, because there's all those treacheries, those really nasty treacheries in the deck, right? Which can really ruin your day. So, what I like to do is get this guy out here, this guy has Burning Brand. We get one of these on him. The rest of them can just be discarded. So she's now got three defense. She's also got Burning Brand, which means she'll never take damage from this guy. And we just farm him. So we just let him attack every turn, right? She does nothing. She, I mean, she defends, but uh, we don't ever kill him. And that, every single turn, we just discard two... Uh, Two cards, look, just then. Just that attack got rid of two threats next time it comes out. Because there's so many, there's so many, uh, uh, you know, what, I want, what am I trying to say here? There's so many treacheries in this deck that having some kind of engine that allows you to discard them. So if you're putting two into the staging area, two into the discard pile, really helps your chances. And that's also why I don't get as many Atlases normally, because it also puts into the, the discard pile, as you saw, uh, you know, good cards like uh, this one. Anyway, that is that. I will see you guys next time.